Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here, and it is time for card of the week again. And uh, I do remember I sort of said like uh, I wanted to do something that was going to be more of a like a budget out this time, uh, but not as cheap as like a dollar, uh, which is what I've kind of been doing here lately. Um, and I wanted to talk about if you guys couldn't tell from the title card, the Boral Sword Dragon. So. A couple quick things. Let's talk about it. It's been released, what, like four times? Um, which is kind of cool. Uh, three or four times. Yeah, I'm seeing four on my other phone. Um, real quick, this is an amazing out in today's game. Uh, we're we're seeing like Access Code Talker really take over uh, in the role that Boral Sword had been filling up until uh, Eternity Code. Um, and this is still great, um, obviously. Um, real quick, let's go over it. So, obviously, Link 4. Uh, the recipe is three plus effect monsters, so we can get away with just three. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, once per turn is a quick effect. You can target an attack position monster and change it to defense. And you can also make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Real quick breakdown. Quick effect means we can do this during the opposing turn. Uh, it doesn't state main phase, so we can do this during the battle phase to actually stop an attacker. Um, and of course, we'll just not be attacking that battle phase anyway, so uh, kind of a non-starter. We can still go ahead and do the battle switch up there. Um, additionally, uh, that is a uh, an effect that cannot be responded to, so technically spell speed 4. Um, it is what it is. Uh, second effect, once per turn, when this card declares an attack on a face-up monster, activate this effect, and until the end of the turn, this card gains attack equal to half that monster's current attack, and if so, that monster loses half of its attack. So, for those of you who've been playing forever, we do have a spell card in the game, a uh, normal play spell card, Riroku, Ririoku, something like that. Uh, which is essentially that. It's, it's snatching half the points off of a card and then adding it to another card. Um, and this is what allows Boral Sword to, again, uh, mimic what Access Code Talker does. Or if we uh, respect the release order, Access Code Talker improves on the effect of Boral Sword. Um, now, why did we choose Boral Sword uh, instead of just talking about Access Code Talker? Um, Access Code Talker right now on TCG is trending for anywhere between like $100 and $110. I was at a Locals uh, this week, last week. Um, we did see one in the retail setting for the secondary market there. Uh, again, it was a $100 bill uh, to walk out of the store with it. Um, and not everybody has that in their budget. I know that I don't, uh, but some some people do. Uh, and again, I don't think that my trade binder has anywhere near the worth of an access code talker. Uh, so again, this sort of limits like how often you can get into this card. Now, what makes this so great is if we look at some of the print runs, we have the uh, Battle of Legends Heroes Revenge uh, sitting around like 18, 19 bucks. You have the Secret Rare from Cybernetic Horizon, uh, again, almost $20. You have the 2019 Ultra Rare uh, Gold Sarko Tin. Uh, again, this is going to be about 11 bucks. But the one that you guys see me running is under 5 And that is like today's price. I mean, obviously, I just pulled that up on TCG Player. And uh, the best part for me was uh, this one was actually donated to me by one of our viewers, uh, Mr. Drumsticks. Thank you so much. This has helped me in so many games. Um and again, it's just a great generic card for a lot of decks, a lot of decks that can do uh, a lot of like field spamming. And if you guys were watching earlier this week, uh, I believe I included it in my Light Sworn slash Twilight Sworn Chaos uh, build. Uh, if you haven't seen this deck, I mean, obviously, I'd love it if you guys would check that out. Uh, I did a couple test hands and kind of explained like the only like climbing combos that are really necessary. Again, a desk, that desk, mm, that deck is a very high risk, high reward situation. And uh, again, you can you can generate a, a large field rather quickly. And of course, go into uh, Boral Load, or sorry, Boral Sword. Wow. Uh, I do apologize, guys. I, I don't know. Um, 
And one of the additional plays, since I kind of skipped over the first effect here, was this cannot be destroyed by battle. One of my favorite plays to uh, actually use this would be IP Mask Arena because, again, we need three or more. Uh, IP can go ahead and count as two. Uh, but this also sets you up for being able to play uh, Boral Sword during the opposing turn. Um, and then give it the last effect here. A Link Monster that used this card as material cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. So we go with this card cannot be destroyed by card effects or battle. And it really does give more value to Boral Sword. Of course, uh, I believe Access Code Talker being Cybers, IP Mask Arena can make a great Cybers, uh, cybers uh, build and a board. Uh, I tried to mix those words together too. Uh, not doing so well with that. Um, but it's super splashable. Just any deck that uh, will utilize an extra deck. I'm looking at my Monarchs sitting over there on the other side of this table right now. And uh, that's probably the... One of the only decks where I will actually like forego using an extra deck, uh, even just c carrying an extra deck just in case like uh, you want to sort of use it as a psychological bluff. Um, but again, it, it's a big budget. Uh, again, this this copy is like five bucks, so you're you're dealing with like a five dollar card versus a one hundred or one hundred and ten dollar card, uh, and you can get the other art if you're more. Uh, you know, into the original art. Uh, again, I think the cheapest one was going to run you like 10 11 And again, that's still like, you could have uh, 10 of these for the price of a single access code talker. Uh, not everybody is a playset player the way that I am. And uh, again, uh, some people just love to uh, have just decks built and on board 100% ready to go at all times. And you got to respect that. So again, this... This is another great uh, reason for why you guys should play Boral Sword Dragon. Um, there are plenty of opportunities, uh, especially in the matches I've played, uh, where you just really need to get over top of a card. And again, this is just going to work. Um, the real question I have, and maybe you guys can answer me, um, this does this target? That is the question. When it declares an attack on a face-up monster, activate the effect... Gain attack equal to half that monster's attack. Is that a targeting effect? I'm actually not sure. I didn't do my homework. I really wanted to get this done before it was way too late to upload uh, for today, which is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Um, but let me know down in the comments section. I'm sure one of you guys are way smarter than I am on this one. And again, I could I could use the help and the education on that. And I'm sure anybody else who's wa uh, watching through the comments uh, will also uh, appreciate that as well if they don't already know. Um, but that's that's about it. I'm, I'm pretty much going to start circling the drain here uh, as far as talking myself in a circle. Um, I have thought about building just a rocket deck, uh, just doing like the generic theming. Um, and then using this uh, Boral Savage, uh, the Boralode Fusion or whatever it was called. Uh, because I know there's a fusion monster. I think there's an Xyz as well. Um, again, just sort of circling the drain now. Um, so yeah, uh, if this has helped you guys, if this has kind of put it into... Uh, uh, I'm not sure the word I want to use here. Um, if, the, if this has uh, kind of steered you towards maybe you should invest in this card. Uh, and I hope that you do. Um, you know, maybe maybe leave a like. I know I don't usually talk about that, uh, but if these types of videos do help you, uh, do consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Uh, we, uh, we, we, bah, 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 bah. we recently uh, broke the 600 marker, um, and again, that just blows me away because at the beginning of the year, I was like, uh, 500 by the end of the year is what I, what I would like to see. Or I think I said a thousand, but like five hundred was my realistic estimate, and you guys have already smashed that, and we're not even halfway through the year, so that's kind of fantastic. Um, but yeah, you know, comment, subscribe, like the video, show it to your friends, uh, all of that stuff would be greatly appreciated. One last thing, and that's I want to wish you guys a great day. I really do hope that your day is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I know my days are pretty amazing reading through the comments and everything. It, it means more than you guys will ever know. Uh, but I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, I should have something up tomorrow as well. 
Um, and uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. So see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.